What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, man, we are back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go and press that like button for your boy. Go and press that subscribe button if you are new to my channel. And also turn the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Now, I see y'all have been pressing that subscribe button. And I do appreciate y'all, man. So, if you are new to my video, please press the subscribe button. Now, as you can see by the title of the thumbnail, I will be teaching y'all how to get better at NBA 2K. Don't matter what 2K it is, next year or this year. But let's go on and get right into the video. Now, in order to be a nice 2K player, and when I mean by nice, I mean nice at all games. It don't matter what you play. My team play now park 1v1 in the stage it don't matter man it do not matter you can be nice at the whole game like if anybody tell me what you want to play in 2k I'll be like bro what's up it don't matter we can play my team even though you got to have some good cards in my team to really compete with people but hey man if you got the right defensive setting it might help you a little bit but i'm telling you man and it really don't even matter but you really just got to be like really nice at the game and in order to get really nice at the game, you gotta like really know your strengths and weaknesses on how to play 2K and how your play style is on 2K. Now, a lot of people, you know, they like to be play shots. That's what a lot of people are these days. Or a lot of people try to be or try to portray that they are. Now, in this gameplay, y'all see what I'm talking about when I'm talking about just nice. Now, right now, as you can see, these boys are beating us six to zip. We messed up the first time. Now, right now, it's not looking too good for this. They know how to dance. They know what they're doing. They got chemistry. Now, you are going to have to need some players that you build chemistry with. Your friends got to build chemistry with your friends when you're trying to be a good 2K player because that's what helps. Sometimes, you don't even have to say nothing to your teammate, and they already know how your play style is and how you play and how you guard, so they know how to help you out on defense so you just won't get abused. Now, right now, as you can see, the score is 8 to zip, and they're killing us on the twos. And we get this one stop right here. Now, this is what I mean. Now, me, I'm an ISO play. Now, my play style is I like to go to the rim, you know, get the dunk off. That's just me. And my teammate knows that he's a shooter, and I know how he play. So, right now, as you can see, we were down eight to zip. Now, watch this. As you can see, he just shot a three wide open. I go to the rim, get the easy dunk, make the score eight to five. Now, right now, we're only down by three. And y'all know game do end at 21. Watch this is what I mean. You, If you nice, it shows, bro. It's 8 to 5 right now. Now, as you can see me, I'm trying to get open. I hit that ball with a hezzy, end up stepping back. Now, I could have shot that. He let me open again. I ain't shoot that, but my shooter wide open. Green bean. He did right now. The score is tied up 8 to 8. I'm telling you, man, when you are trying to get better, please focus on defense. I'm telling you now. This is what I say in 2K. Everybody can score on 2K, but everybody can't play defense. A lot of people can't check you. And if you can't check nobody, bro, you're a liability on the court. That's why I hate meta builds. You haven't seen me run a meta build lineup. We don't play meta builds, me and my friends. We don't do that. Because if you do, you're going to be a liability on something. And we do not like to be liabilities, especially on defense. As it is, it's not that good. So if it's not that good, why are you going to be a liability on it? It's just making it worse for you and your team. That's not helping nobody but the other team. But right now, as you can see, we are cooking these boys 13-8. to 8. I'm out here cooking him, you know, messing around, doing what I do while he end up snap, snatch back. Oh, my goodness. Pull up, and that sniper badge was working overtime. Right now, the score is 16-8. Them boys ain't touched the ball again since they let us touch the ball at 8 to zip. This is what I mean, man. Once you nice at the game, it shows. Like, look at this. We went possessions, possessions, cooking them. Score 18-8. to eight. This is just being nice. Like, come on. Straight cooking. This is the smoothest gameplay I've ever recorded. Look at this. My teammate wide open. Oh, my gosh. Where you going? Step back. Get off my court. Just like that. If you don't believe me, you can rewind this gameplay. It was 8-0 to zip before we touched the ball. And we came back and scored 21 straight, bro. 21 straight. Now, let me get y'all into the next gameplay. Now, I'm telling you. You got to be nice at defense. You got to be nice. You got to have IQ. You got to know how to guard people. You have to, like, you have to really know how people play. You don't even really know how people play, but you just have to be a defender. And y'all know 2K ain't really made no good 
defensive game, in my opinion, since 2K19. 2K20 was high on the defensive end, but you couldn't stop hop steps. Everybody know 21 was a disaster on defense. That speed boost glitch and Zens, that was a disaster on defense. In this game, you can't really go out either because they stun you. You need ankle braces just to stop a 5'8 midget that has Hall of Fame, you know, space creator, mismatch expert, you know, quick chain on. Like, bro, I need all this to stop him, but I still can't stop him. Like, that don't even make sense. I'm a defender. If you're a defender, it shouldn't stun you. There's no way I should clamp somebody up for 23 seconds and he just shoot a fadeaway white in my face. Cause he's a midget and like there's nothing I can do cause I don't know why cause I was stunned in the animation that they put me in. Like that should not be possible. You're a defender. You should defend bro. No defender in the NBA is getting stunned off a crossover where he just can't move where he do a nay nay and walk back. No, that's not real. That's not realistic. But yeah, you gotta have defense. You gotta have communication. Like I said, everybody can score. You can, everybody can get a metal bill and go score. Everybody. Everybody can get a metal build and go score, but everybody can't play defense. If everybody could play defense, bro, I promise you there wouldn't be so many bums in the wreck. It's so many bums in the wreck that can't play offense or defense. Now, them people, they just actual casual players. I don't blame them. But not playing defense, it, like, drives me crazy. That's my number one thing. I don't care if you can score. Everybody can score. But if you can't play defense, bro, it's not going to really help you. Everybody that'll tell you all them people that be in the crumb stage, you know, I don't really care for them and be like that. Cause you know, I used to play stage at one time, but not for real for real. We used to play it just you know for fun in 2K20 where it got easy. It got easy for us at one point. And if you don't believe me, I'll post a video. I got a lot of videos from 2K20 on my YouTube channel. It's not on this channel, but it's on my old channel. If y'all want to see some gameplay of it, just let me know in the comment section if you get this far in the video. If you got this far in the video, just put something random in the comment section. Just something random. I don't care what it is. Just something random. Just to let me know that you at least got to this point in the video. But yeah, man, you really need IQ, defense, know how your teammate move. You know, you got to have chemistry too. But I'm telling you, if you have all those things, you should be okay. And you just got to keep getting better year by year. You know, each game of 2K changes every year. This game, you know, defense might not have been so good. But 2K23, the defense could be better. It could be worse. And then also, you have to, like, really know how to guard. When I mean really know how to guard, you know, some people can guard the three-point line. Some people can guard the paint. But some people don't know how to guard the paint. Like, it's some keys that are unspoken in the paint. Like, on sometimes you don't have to jump in the paint. Like, if your defender pump fake, it's an unspoken rule. If they pump fake, bro, don't jump on the first time. It's always jump the second time. A lot of people don't know that. I don't know if y'all knew that. If y'all didn't know that, set it in the comments. That's what I'm telling you. It's small little things like that. It's the small thing that helps. And in this game, you cannot get steals. So, I don't even go for steals. So, the best way to play defense in NBA 2K22 is just don't go for steals, bro. Just guard them the full 24 seconds and hopefully you know that put him in the box cam think about that put him in the box cam 24 seconds a straight lockdown now i don't know if 2k will allow you know because y'all know how they be on their defense sometimes like that paint defense i really hope it gets fixed next year next year bro paint defense gotta be better it was terrible this year bro you couldn't do anything like they could just force it up in the paint they could pump fake pump fake pump fake pump fake pump fake and guess what you're gonna do your player's going to continue to jump i do not know why that is the option or why they do that but they need to do something about that next year now next year it's gonna be okay to people complain and then they're gonna patch it that's what happened with this game i don't know why they changed the defense on this game this game was fun they patched the game they gotta stop patching the game and making it bad this game was good if you don't believe me look at the views and look at the gameplay when the game first came out the first month this game was good now this game is bad it's not even bad it's average it's not even that good but it's bad i'm telling you man now yeah don't forget to take some of those tips that i gave y'all on how to become a good player in nba 2k 22 or nba 2k and i'm out man peace